Okay, this is a piece of 18 gauge rounds soft brass wire. We're going to make the hook out of this. This wire is two and a half inches, so we want to be a little more precise on here, especially if you're using gold. So at two and a half inches, I'm going to come and make this about one and a qu quarter. Okay, I'm going to bend it over with my flat. I'm just going to bend it over on itself. And it wasn't a perfect bend. I missed it a little bit. So it's not even here. I'm going to go ahead and trim those, make them even, and also take that rough nose off, rough edge off, because I'm using flush cutter. Okay. I'm going to get my round nose pliers, and I'm going to make the hook and I'm going to bring it right over like that. I'm not going to squeeze it shut yet. Okay. I'm going to come to the bottom and I want to straighten out this hook a little bit. I'm going to come to the bottom of the hook and you can press together right here a little bit more if you want. Some people leave it open, some people open it up. Okay, I'm going to come down a little bit lower. And I'm going to open this up here like that. Like that. It's a little bit crooked, I want to make sure it's straight. Okay, so there is my hook. I'm going to bring I'm going to hold my hook like that and hold it upside down. I'm going to go in the, about in the middle of my round nose pliers. And I'm going to bring it all the way down like that. Just like that. I'm going to go in the same place but in the middle. Go right in the middle. And I'm going to roll this one down. like that. So there is my hook, just like that. Now, this one here is a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller than this one here. So I'm going to go in, I'm open it up a little bit, and make it a little bit bigger. Try to even them out just a little bit. And that will happen to you all the time. If that happens to you a lot, what you do is mark your pliers with a black mark slot. Okay, so there is my uh, hook. And I'm going to get my uh, catch in here. And this is my catch. So this is how it's going to look on the back of your bracelet. You hook and catch, and you can turn it in, and you can turn it outward. But there's your finished hook and catch, just like that. Can you, it has actually a lot of applications, but mostly the back of a bracelet. You hook and you catch.